Spencer. Developing tonight, families are left grieving after a pregnant woman was shot and killed along with a man. It happened during a time when parents were cheering on their children at a soccer match. Authorities say the suspected gunman taking his own life. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner joins us live from Northwest Harris County with what witnesses are saying about that shooting. Rochelle, good evening. Jonathan Sion, good evening. Many people were terrified when this tragic event unfolded. We spoke to several soccer players who ran for their life when those shots rang out. This is video from a KPRC2 viewer of a soccer game at the Matias Almeida Training Center in Northwest Harris County. A few moments later, you can see players running off the field some jumping over a fence trying to take cover. Angel Guerrero was sitting on the bench when things turned chaotic. I was on the bench. I was watching the game until I heard the first gunshot. I looked around to see what was happening. I thought it was like a car crashing or like a, a wheel exploding or something like that. And that's when I saw the guy pick up the gun and start shooting again, uh, both the woman and the man. When deputies arrived, they found a man and a pregnant woman who had been shot. The man died on scene and the woman was taken to the hospital. She and her unborn baby did not make it. Deputies interviewed family members. We identified the suspect as a ex-husband or boyfriend of the female victim. During the investigation, deputies say the suspect took his own life at a home on Bayou Forest Drive. Eduardo Orderno is also a soccer player and a close friend to the victim child. He's a good teammate, really humble, really, he's he's good, chill. It's a tragedy that's left many shaken up. It's just a surprise. Yeah. Things happen like this. You don't really expect it on a soccer game. And the Harris County Sheriff's Office has not released the name of the suspect or the victims. Reporting live in Northwest Harris County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you.